The world outside may have altered dramatically, but behind closed doors, life for many Ukrainians is as hard as it ever was. The outlook extremely uncertain. In our very poor economy, every price hike influences the family budget. The price of household gas, for instance, has traditionally been low, but to comply with the terms of international loans that Ukraine now desperately needs, the new government will have to charge far more. It's perhaps not surprising in this part of the world that it's all much to do with gas. Supply pipelines crisscross Ukraine. It's a transit country for Russian gas to Europe, and Russian gas accounts for well over half of Ukraine's own bloated industrial energy needs. At the same time, cheap household gas, thanks to generous government subsidies, is bought by corrupt middlemen and sold on to companies at much higher prices, costing the state billions. And as international lenders appear certain to demand an end to the domestic gas subsidy, so too Russia has promised to end its discounted gas price to Ukraine, a potentially disastrous double whammy. The gas purchase price will go up by at least a third, and there may be worse to come beyond that. In terms of threats, we already had two gas wars. Uh, the last one was in 2009 and when Russia uh, uh, interrupted supplies uh, to Europe uh, and we had this uh, gas war going for almost a month. With their country reduced to economic ruin by rampant corruption, many Ukrainians appear to accept that things do need to change and that those changes will be painful. Without question, changes are needed. But for the changes to be supported by the people, they must be properly explained. What kind of reforms will there be? What aim will they have? And what will the results look like? Those are open questions that depend in large part on Ukraine's future relationship with Europe to the West and Russia, which remains hugely influential, able to wield its energy dominance to destabilize a country teetering on the economic edge. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Kiev.